Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hazy matte effect. And we're going to look at two different techniques that can be used individually, or they can be used together to give you a really strong effect. The first thing that you need to do is go down to the adjustment layer icon, which is a half white, half black circle at the bottom of the layers panel and select curves from the list of options. And then we just need to place points on each of these squares here. And this is so simple, it's incredible. And then just take that bottom left hand corner point and then just drag that up until you're happy with the matte effect that you're getting. So let's just do a before and after. So. What we're doing here is lifting the shadows. We're getting more detail there, but we're also creating a kind of muddiness, but it's really popular and it can work really quite well. With this particular image here, it's quite dark naturally. So by lifting the shadows in that way and creating the matte effect, we're lightening things off. So what I would like to do now is just pull these points down. So there you, you'll see that the darker tones darkening off again slightly. We're not gonna go too far. So here in the middle of the curve, we're dealing with the mid tones. And then up here at the top, if you just watch the sky there, we're just kind of muddying that off slightly. So that's quite a strong effect. I'm just going to close down the curves dialog window and I'm going to use opacity just to get exactly the effect I'm looking for. I always like to make the effect slightly stronger and then fine tune it using opacity. Okay, so that's step one or technique one. The next one is using a levels adjustment layer. And if we just take a very quick look at the histogram here, you'll see that we've got this huge gap between where the histogram actually starts and where the black point is. So if I was to drag that black point over to the edge of the histogram, you'll see we're kind of back where we started. So let's just pop that back where it was. So another way of adding haze, well, the first technique was creating a matte effect. This is actually creating haze. So we're just gonna take the black output point and then you can drag that over to the right and it just really lightens off the shadows. So what I would normally do with this is take it up to about 50 and then use opacity to fine tune it. But as you'll see here, it's a really strong effect because we've already added the matte. So for this particular image, I think I'm gonna take it just up to 20 and then fine tune it from here. So we don't wanna make it too strong really. This is probably stronger than I would actually normally apply but it's just to show you the effect and how it actually works with images. Let's just group these layers off so we can take a look at the before and after. So there immediately we have a nice hazy matte effect. Now another thing that can work really quite well with this particular technique is to desaturate the image. And there are many different ways of doing that, but one that I think works particularly well, possibly one of the best options there, is to create a black and white adjustment layer and then immediately just close that window down because we don't need to make any further adjustments. Then we're gonna to go to the blending modes drop down menu and change the blending mode from multiply. So that's a darken blending mode and obviously there it's darkened off. So now with that selected, just hit control and J and that's gonna make a copy of the layer. And now we're just gonna change the blending mode to screen and screen is a lighten layer. So we're kind of playing off the two black and white layers against each other. I'm just gonna group these off. So to do that, I'm selecting them both and holding down Control and G. And again, we're gonna use the opacity slider to control that. So there's our before and our after. And just to keep things nice and tidy, what we can do is just rename each of these groups. So the first one is hazy matte and the second one is desaturation. So that is how to create a hazy matte effect in Photoshop. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget, give it a thumbs up to help other people find it and subscribe to the channel to check out new videos as they're released. Thank you.